Hi everyone, I'm Bot here with a simple and hopefully easy tutorial on how to record Realm of the Mad God footage free and with no watermarks. The first step is to download the flash projector. This lets you play around with less lag and it will make your recording much much easier. Check out Biolol's guide on how to download the flash projector by clicking here on the screen. The second step is to download Open Broadcasting Software, or OBS Recorder for short. This program is free and has no watermarks, and also lets you record as long as you want. This program has little to no lag while recording, and it automatically compresses your video files to take up minimal space on your computer, which is really great if you like to record lots of things like me. The third step is setting up OBS. You've probably heard of it, and you've probably heard that people use it for streaming, but it also works really well for recording. So go ahead and open OBS. From this screen, you will want to go to Settings, and then click on Settings again. And for General, make sure it's the language you're speaking, of course. And setting the profile essentially names gives a base name for all your videos. I named mine RotMG uh, just for the sake of knowing what I'm recording. And all your videos after that will be named RotMG1, 2, 3, just kind of like duplicates of themselves. You also want to make sure that both of these are ticked. And essentially what those do is down here on your lower bar, they will tell you uh, when you are recording, there will be a red light showing that yes, you are recording and it will make it so you don't have to have this screen open all the time to know if you're recording or not. And so it's really helpful. To, uh, you can just look down there and go, yep, I'm recording. Or, oh no, I forgot to record. And you can just start recording. Uh, next is the encoding. Uh, you can pretty much just copy these settings. I have a pretty average computer, so your computer could probably handle it. Um, just quality balance 10, and max bitrate is 9000. Uh, pretty standard, and uh, you can just copy those over. On broadcast settings, this is probably the most important part. On mode, you want to make sure it's file output only. This program can also be used for streams. I'm not exactly sure how to do that because I don't stream, um, but putting the mode on file output only makes it so you record into video files. On the file path, just choose where you want to save all your recordings. I suggest just making a folder so your desktop doesn't get cluttered with a whole bunch of recordings. And even though they say start stream hotkeys and stop stream hotkey, um, those are really just start and stop recording. Uh, they mean the same thing. Uh, so my start recording is F12 and my stop recording is F11. And those work pretty well uh, for recording realm, at least for me. Uh, and you can change those to keys that you never use or you can just copy mine because I think they work pretty well. Uh, and make sure you always apply your changes for when you want to save these things. Uh, video, uh, the base resolution, you can just copy mine or just make yours your monitor size um, and make sure your FPS is 30 because that's max YouTube will let you do and anymore you'll probably get really laggy. Um, resolution downscale, I just kept mine on none, just keep it standard and make sure you disable arrow and it's as you can see it's strongly recommended and it helps reduce lag when recording greatly audio no one really cares it's really just just keep the defaults and on advanced you can pretty much just keep the defaults um, on the video this might be something uh, the CPU present 
might be something worth changing if you have a really good computer uh, you can put it higher or if you don't have if you have it just like okay computer uh, you might want to put it just on fast um, but very fast for average computers is something you'll probably just want to keep the same so very fast um, and microphone noise gate uh, just keep these on the defaults also uh, fairly simple make sure you hit apply and then OK next you want to click on scenes right click and hit add a scene and go ahead and name it whatever you want I named mine realm on flash player just for simplicity and so I can remember what I'm recording and where on your sources side go ahead and right click go over add and make sure you hit window capture as you can see I already made mine on window capture double click and that will open up settings for it make sure the window that it has selected is Adobe Flash Player 11 this will make sure that it's recording just that window also make sure you have inner window ticked so it doesn't record the outside parts and keeps just the parts that you want you can change other settings accordingly but I find the defaults to work well after that you can go ahead and hit preview stream to see how it's looking you may notice that maybe your window is a little bit off or everything's just kind of off-centered so what you can do to fix that problem is right click on the window capture and you will want to change the position and size the best thing to try and do is hit fit to screen and then that should center it and make it as big as it can from there you can hit stop preview and you can use your hotkeys to start and stop recording whenever you want and just make sure that you have the right scene selected when you start recording or if you might accidentally record something else I hope this video helped you out and inspired you to make your own videos I would love to see the videos you guys made so go ahead and post a comment and I'll go ahead and check out your channel if you have any suggestions for future videos please leave them in the comments leave a like if you enjoyed and thanks for watching.